Move now to the tight ends. We're going to give you a start, a sit, and a stream option here. For me, I'm going as a start, Delaney Walker. I think you see against Atlanta. We saw it last year. No Keanu Neal. He's out now with an Achilles injury. Walker's been good in two of three games. I think this is a spot where Marcus Marriott actually wins. Leans on Delaney Walker like we saw last week when he had seven catches for 64 yards. 12 to 14 PPR points without a touchdown. If he finds the end zone, that's a much better situation for him. Staying away from O.J. Howard just because he's been a disappointment. With Mike Evans, without Mike Evans, with Chris Godwin, without Chris Godwin, I don't care who the receivers are for Tampa Bay right now. Until Chris Godwin proves me wrong, I'm going to stay away from him if I can. And then Jack Doyle is a good streaming option. If you don't have T.Y. Hilton there, I think this could be the most targeted Colts receiving option because you will see Jacoby Brissett spread the ball around, but I think Doyle's playtime will spike. I think they'll see more two tight end sets, and this is a spot that you can lean on more so PPR than non-PPR. Dave, your start, sit, and stream at tight end is who? Guess who's the second most targeted player in the Atlanta Falcons right now? It's Austin Hooper, and the reason why I think he's getting those targets is because the run game for Atlanta has been a flop. They're taking on Tennessee. They've only allowed one rushing touchdown in the year, but they've allowed a touchdown to a tight end each of the first three weeks of the season. I'm going to ride with Austin Hooper. I like him better in PPR than not, but I think he's going to be good. TJ Hawkinson's playing time is going down. He should have had three touchdowns last week. He didn't catch any of them. He is very frustrating for fantasy managers. I don't think you can roll with him and feel very good about right, it. So let's stop there because, Heath, you like him as a starting option this week. So look at Dave. Look him in the eye. Tell him why he's wrong. <laughs> We did see his routes run go down the last two weeks, just like Matthew Stafford's pass attempts went down the last two weeks. I expect Stafford's pass attempts to rebound in a game where they're chasing the score against the Chiefs. Hawkinson won't be blocking for the running game as much. He's going to go out. He's going to run routes. He's going to score a touchdown. The fact that he got those opportunities in the red zone, in my opinion, a good thing for now until he drops them for three years in a row like Eric Ebron did. Now, see, I'm, I'm worried that that could set him back one and that he could end up not being targeted that much in the end zone because last week he couldn't come up with three opportunities. Well, one of them was he, you know... He had a foot bump, out of bounds bump, bump, on one, bump, bump, bump. he got the ball knocked away from him on another, and he dropped the other one. One went straight up off his hands. So you don't like Galladay, you don't like Hawkinson. I like Marvin Jones, and I think Amendola can be okay. Okay. And Stafford's outside my top. So Heath is a, uh, Heath Hawkinson's a start for you. Who's your sit? Who's your stream? Uh, I just went with the free spaces because I sent my answers in first. Will Disley was the stream of the week for the entire industry. I'm amazed that he's not owned in every league because he, you know, I take that back. In an 18 league, you're not starting Will Disley unless you're the George Kittle owner and then you might have to. <laughs> or so, the O.J. Howard owner. Or the O.J. Howard Or the T.J. Hawkinson owner. He should be started. Listen, it's You not, like Hawkinson or Disley better? I've actually got Hawkinson one spot to hide. Wow. So, That's, but they're that, right. That one I don't know if I can sign off on. The, the nice part about it is they're basically the same price in DFS. Disley's going to be owned like 40% of the contest. Hawkinson won't be owned at all. I'll definitely use Hawkinson in tournaments. But I do want to make a point that I, I don't think this is just a one week thing for Will Disley. Totally agree. With Nick Vanette gone, there's less competition for routes there. And listen, he's only played really five games where he's been healthy. He's scored five touchdowns. He's been awesome. So, absolutely, uh, st you can stick with Disley for a while and then. If some people still have Jared Cook, so they should they should. Sit. Well, if you just look, if you just circle the ownership percentage for Jared Cook and the ownership percentage for Disley, I know it's very close, but still, it should not be where <laughs> Cook is owned in more leagues than Disley at this point. I don't know how much you could trust Jared Cook. Who knows how the quarterback situation would have helped him if it was Drew Brees? But the first game and a half, Jared Cook was not very good, and I don't think things will change for him very much moving forward. All right, when we come back, we're going to answer all of your questions. That's right, it's our fantasy football today mailbag here. Send them to us at FF Today on Twitter.